would have been around about October 1988. And there was just the general mayhem of the conflict within Northern Ireland. And living in Anderson's town in West Belfast, there were daily occurrences of shooting, bombings. The streets were overrun with army in particular, not so much police, but army. It would have been normal to be walking down the street for soldiers to be training their, the sights of their guns on you. Um, which was very unnerving whenever you realised that it was actually a gun that they were pointing directly at you. I suppose normal life, normal life was just having, having soldiers and police all over the place. I was going into town, I had the two boys with me and we were in a black taxi, which is the public taxi service in and out of West Belfast. And I was sitting on the back seat of the taxi and a guy got in, a man got in halfway down the road, I'm not sure where, but he got in with his son and we were just travelling along and um, just an almighty crack. And I remember sort of ducking forward a bit in the taxi when I heard it and just looked out to my left and there was a soldier in a flak jacket um, with his, his rifle cocked and he just crumpled. Um, just like you would see on the movies, you know, in the pictures. He just crumpled right down onto the ground. And at, at the same time that it happened, the man who was facing me, who saw it as well, started squealing and yelling and banging the taxi window. They got the bird, they got the bird. And was weeping, absolutely weeping with delight. The taxi sort of braked for a second and then drove on very, very quickly. So I looked back out the window and the soldier was lying there and the other soldiers started coming towards him then. Um, but the man was still elated. I just couldn't believe the reaction that he had. He was ecstatic. All I can remember after that was sitting in the living room waiting for the news to come on the TV. and. It was a way down the list of what had happened, but they said that there had been an attack um, on a foot patrol in West Belfast and a soldier had been shot, um, but wasn't killed, was injured. But for those hours I didn't know, I thought we had witnessed someone being murdered. Afterwards, I remember thinking, I should have, I should have done something. I should have got out and said to that young boy, are you all right? or even an act of contrition in his ear, which as a Catholic we're taught to do. But I didn't, I, I just went on. I remember actually talking to my sister about it afterwards. And she just laughed whenever I said I had thought I should have done something. She said, but sure you couldn't. And it was just a given that you couldn't. There were boundaries, you knew what the boundaries were living in a Catholic community. And to actually give any sort of recognition to British soldiers was a no-no. You, you just didn't do it. They were the enemy and you didn't do it. <laughs> 